day, the Baldwin County Grand Jury indicted Steve Nodine for the murder of Angel Downs. The Steve Nodine saga takes another dramatic turn tonight. Mobile County Commissioner is now facing a murder charge. Hi everyone, I'm Bob Grip. And I'm Lenise Lagon. Thank you for joining us tonight. That's Mobile County Commissioner Steve Nodine. That's his mugshot. He's now in the Baldwin County Jail charged with one count of murder. At about 7 o'clock, Nodine surrendered at the jail and was placed in handcuffs. He's been charged in the murder of 45-year-old Angel Downs. Nodine's longtime girlfriend was found shot in the head at her Gulf Shores condo on May 9th. Fox 10 News reporter Hubert Tate has been covering this story since 8 o'clock this morning. He joins us now live from Bay Manette. Well, here it is, Bob Lanise. This is the indictment that charges Mobile County Commissioner Steve Nodine with the death of Angel Downs. Now, this morning, the commissioner was at the county commission meeting in his normal seat. Tonight, he is sitting at the Baldwin County Jail. Commissioner, what have you been indicted for? Is it murder, Commissioner? Did you kill her? Mobile County Commissioner Steve Nodine is now facing a murder charge. Late this afternoon, a Baldwin County grand jury indicted Nodine on one count of murder. A sheriff's deputy stopped Nodine in the middle of the street and placed handcuffs on him. He said nothing as he walked into jail. District Attorney Judy Newcomb says this arrest is a relief to the family of Angel Downs. Angel's sister was here today and was in the courtroom when the grand jury returned. Um, and we're just... Just thankful that the grand jury, after reviewing the evidence, determined there was probable cause to indict Stephen Nodine for a murder. On the night of the murder, a witness said Nodine was at the scene of the crime when Downs was shot. He was driving his county-issued truck at the time. Since the beginning of the investigation, Nodine has denied any wrongdoing. But today, a grand jury had a different opinion of what happened that night and returned a murder indictment. What happens from this point? Uh, the next stage in the process would be um, an arraignment unless he requests some sort of additional bond hearing prior to that time. And now prosecutors say this indictment gives them the go-ahead to prosecute the commissioner for the murder of his mistress. Now, here in Baldwin County, anyone charged with murder, there is a preset bond of $500,000. If the commissioner makes bond, he will be required to wear an electronic monitoring device, or as we call it, he will be on house arrest. And as I told you at 5, we had all these, all the sides of this story covered. I was at the courthouse getting response from prosecutors, and Fox 10 News reporter Chastity Brewer was actually here at the jail getting response from Steve Nodine's attorney. And Chastity, what did you find out? That's right, Hubert. We have been making sure all sides of this story are covered for you at home. Now take a look behind me. Steve Nodine is behind bars in the facility that you see behind me. Now his defense attorneys, Dennis Nisley and John Williams, got word earlier this afternoon that there could be an indictment. So they decided to bring their client to Baldwin County. Now as soon as Steve Nodine stepped out of the car, put his feet on the ground, handcuffs were put on him. Mr. Nodine was escorted into the jail and his defense attorneys stayed back to comment on what just happened. In our system today, uh, there is no defense at the, at the grand jury. You, have, you hear nothing from the, from the defendant. The uh, prosecution has no duty whatsoever to put on anything that would indicate innocence. All they have to do is put on what they, they, they think may indicate probable cause of guilt. It's a very low standard. So when the grand jury returns an indictment, it only means it's an allegation. He is certainly presumed innocent at this point right now. We expect him to be totally exonerated of this murder charge. The bail for Steve Nodine is set for $500,000. Now, I'm told by his attorneys, Mr. Nodine will be spending the night in jail, and that is because the amount of the bond as well as how late in the day that this all occurred. Now, on another note, uh, we in the media know Mr. Nodine as being very talkative. He usually answers all of our questions, and as we've been covering this for the last two weeks, you've heard Steve Nodine say barely anything to us as we've asked him questions, and that is because his defense attorneys say they have instructed him not to say a word. We'll have plenty more coming up around 9.30 for Hubert and I, and also we'll have our stories on fox10tv.com in case you missed any of the breaking details that we just had. In a very busy day here in Baymanette, reporting live, Chastity Bird, Fox 10 News. All right, thanks, Chastity. And just